Warning, this highly educational video shows conventional and unconventional methods of deadly spider control. If you've got a problematic spider who's decided your car is its new home, this video may help you in eradicating that nasty spider. What's that saying? History uh, doesn't repeat. Well, it does repeat at my place. I've got a redback spider underneath my nice car. Uh, I think the best way to see the web, hopefully you can sit in there, it's all around the wheel arch area there. There's actually a lot of web. I'm suspecting this is quite a large redback spider. It goes all the way to the top. Now, the problem I've got here is that <laughs> black spider against, you know, black inside of car, it makes it very hard, doesn't it? And I think if I traverse down here, you can see a lot of web there. Okay, and there are some drop down lines going down to the ground. I actually cleared away some of those earlier today. I was hoping the spider would come down and do its drop down lines. But what I'm going to do is something semi conventional. Very strange of me to do something conventional, isn't it, hey? I've got these uh, sprays here. I'm going to come in and use the Coles Multi Spray first. That's the cheap one. And then if I get into trouble, I'll get into the good stuff there uh, the Mortine Rapid Kill. I'm going to come in and I'm going to spray, basically spray up into the wheel arch there. There's a lot of little nooks and crannies where the spider can hide. And I'm hoping I'll be able to fog the spider out with that cheaper spray. That's my plan. I'm shaking the can before I go and I'm going to spray here first. This is the cheapest spray and it's a nice fogging spray. Okay, I'm going to go right up in the wheel arch there. And this is what normal people would do, I think, to get rid of redback spiders. They wouldn't reach for flamethrowers, they would reach for... A small oh, crikey, he's going to kill myself here in a second. I think that's enough, I hope. Well, I put a fair bit of spray there, you can sort of still see it hanging about. I'm just now looking for a spider of the drop. And uh, this is probably the problem with this method. I want to see a dead spider, I want to see something running around, scampering around. At the moment, I can't see it. I don't really want to crawl under this car uh, while there's an angry spider up there. At the moment I can't see it. I'll do some more spray underneath here. A lot more spray actually. This is going to be problematic. Okay. I can see the fog of that spray clearing again. And I'll come in for a bit of a closer look to see if I can find that spider. What the spray's done is actually exposed the spider web there, the redback's web. This is a redback spider we're dealing with. I'm absolutely certain of it because of the web structure. Mmm. I can't see any spider down on the deck there because <laughs> it's going to be an angry little critter at the moment because if it's got any spray, it's going to be fearing for its life. There's a little bit of uh, web in the wheel there, but the bulk of the web is actually around this. There's a bit there, just going by a camera there. Mm, man, I, I, I sort of like to tease these spiders uh, down into their web. Uh, <laughs> I'm being reminded why now because they are really hard to get. So again, I'm laying down on the ground. I don't want to be. You can see the web going down to the ground clearly there. I can't see any spider on the ground there. And this is a problem. I can't see any spider on that tire either. And do I really want to crawl up under there with my, with my phone? I don't think so. I'll show you the area where I believe the spider's hiding out, and if I do a little twisty on the camera here, I can get in there. <laughs> I don't want to, but I might have to do some backward spraying up into this zone here, that I'm poking the torch up, so this lip here, get some spray into there. It's one thing to say, it's another thing to actually do it, and I'll just come in like that. Okay. This cheaper spray uh, fogs quite nicely. Whereas that more expensive spray that actually sprays very wet. I'll just, I just I'll just stop talking to them and start to breathe and stuff and I could die. I'll just stand back and let that um, that spray clear out. Okay, let's take a look around. This is the uh, forward part of the rear wheel on this car. If anything, I thought the spider would drop down to this zone here. Okay, we'll go up into the wheel arch here. You can see the web quite clearly, can't you? Hey, I can't see spider. Mrs. Spider, please appear. Looking very carefully in the tire there. It's going to drop down. It's going to be an angry little thing. And it's going <laughs> to... Where is it? Come on. Don't like this at all. Don't like it. 
I'm just looking inside the wheel there in case it's fallen down and done some miraculous stunt. Looking there on top of the brake components and suspension and whatnot. I can't see any spider there, can you? I'm just at the back here, um, mainly looking down on the ground. <sighs> can't see the spider. Nowhere to be seen, I can't see it, and that annoys me. This is um, very annoying. What I'm going to do is uh, clear away the drop down lines there. Because if I get rid of those, and put it this way, if the spider comes down and makes more drop down lines, which I don't think it will now, it'll tell me that it's still active. I cleared those, well put it this way, they got reset last night, so I know there's a spider here. <laughs> yeah, I'm making it appear with spider spray is proving to be quite difficult. I'm going to come through here and I'm going to finish this off. Sorry for the suspect lighting. I'm just going to get the more expensive spray, which sprays very wet, okay? I'm going to come through and just put this product through here. This is the really ritzy stuff. Now, who knows? This might, <laughs> this might trigger a bit of a different effect. Boy, it's got a different smell. I've just stopped talking and breathing for a moment. Or else I'm going to kill over. I'll just let that um, clear and I'll come in for another look. That's the product there that I use. Uh, the can's a bit sun faded. That's why it's looking a bit orange. Okay, and what we're looking for <laughs> is a spider, that a black spider of red stripe on its back that has fallen to the ground. Now, do you think we're going to find this spider against the black car and the black tire and everything else that's against me here? It's stinking hot. I'm sweating. I'm scared because I can't see the spider. It's going to be if it is there, it's going to be very cranky because it's, it's going to have spray on it. <clears throat> and I'm glad I've done this because it just shows you how difficult it is to get these spiders out. Normally I do the redback spider fishing. Now maybe you understand why I do that now. And that can be very tricky as well. Just check the wheel area as well. I mean the little, little poor carcass of the thing may have dropped down into those areas down there. Nah. I can't see it. Just looking at the back here as well, not a sign of that spidey. It's very frustrating uh, when you don't get the spider. It's weird because this is exactly the same spot and the same car as last year, but the spider was slightly underneath the car from memory. They seem to always come back to exactly the same spot every year. They've got this zone thing. Maybe they mark a territory and they just keep coming back to that. You know, uh, I, I'm, I like my fishing method. It can be difficult to fish the spiders out by putting bugs and stuff and teasing them out of, out of their hidey holes. But not seeing the spider is really frustrating. I might come down here in the morning, there might be a dead spider on the ground, or there may not be. They might have you know, gone up inside the car and died. I don't think they, they can get into modern cars because they're very well sealed up. Uh, but it's very frustrating, and I'm sort of glad that I showed you how hard it is to get these spiders uh, you know, and to nail them. Uh, wretched spiders and I, they seem to just love my cars i'm over it i am completely over it. and it's a hot stinking night and this is the last thing i want to be doing right now just up from my car's this drain i know there's a redback spider in now i just noticed there's a snail has just gone through in the territory there i don't think the redbacks get snails and it's just reset its web because i swept this area today i wonder if we can see the spider if i put my camera down there and be really stupid and go into the spider's web they won't go for me, but uh, we might see the spider, we might not. That's where they like to live. Places like that. Now, can you see the spider? I can't quite see the screen. Which is a bit naft, isn't it? I just looked back on the video and a spider scampered off to the side because they're timid things. They don't like light and um, they're very, very tricky to uh, coax out into the open. It's the next day, and before we take an inspection down here to see what we've captured from Manic spraying last night, let's sort out that drain spider. There's definitely a redback spider living up there. I've actually done a study of that one there, uh, feeding on something. It's got a little drain portal there as well. Ah, let's give it a bit of a good night, sister, in a very special way. Best of all, I know this method works really well. Good night, sister.
Well, I'll tell you this, uh, that would have been like being underneath the Saturn V rocket on liftoff. Absolutely nothing could survive that. Just looking up inside there, can you see Mrs. Redback Spider now? Oh, it's all crispy critter up there. Maybe she's dead. What a terrible shame. One less deadly redback spider on the planet. Okay, well back to our reality check. Obviously I can't put a flamethrower over my car here. Uh, let's just see if I can find this spider and let's see if it's made its web back again to the ground that I got rid of last night. I've just got a torch in my hand here. I can't see any new drop down lines. Okay, so uh, I wish I could see a spider body here and we are looking around very carefully. Very carefully. Okay, well that there, uh, that is a dead cockroach and it's in its uh, death throes. It's still moving a bit, so it's probably scampered through the spray and been affected. I'm looking inside the wheels here and stuff. We might see a spider carcass. <laughs> yeah, I should be so lucky, shouldn't I, hey? I should be so lucky. We just go to the top of the wheel here. Just got the uh, light resting underneath the camera here. I was hoping to find a dead spider on top of the tire. I can still see the web and everything. I'm looking f under, right underneath here. Sort of trying to get underneath that bit there. I really don't want to. Oh, very annoying. Like a total idiot, I'm just crawling under the back of the car here. So we're looking up towards the front. That's the back of the rear wheel. And we're looking on the ground for a spider carcass or body or something. Underneath the back of the tire there, there's nothing. Wow, this is frustrating and it's funny because I, I went back to, and looked at the video from last year when I spoke about the spider which was over in this zone here. Oh, sorry for that, that very bad camera work. Uh, yeah, last year's red back was there and I actually did speak about uh, the difficulty of getting a spider if you spray it. It's a bit like a, a deja vu moment. Yes, yeah, so I'm just looking over there. Uh, I can't see any other drop down webs under this car so... Um, I don't know. I dare say the spider has scampered back up inside and um, it's dead up there somewhere inside the car. What I will do here is I've got a bit of a brush here. I'm going to come along, get rid of all of the redback spider web. Who knows, it may pop out if I do this. Or it may not. And I'm pretty sure this spider is going to be nailed. Uh, I didn't see any extra drop down lines being set up. But if I get rid of all the web there. And I see more web tonight. Well, that means the spider's back, but I think the spider's going to be history. I hope. Just on the thought of redback spiders coming back to the same spot, the bricks that sort of are beside the car are still here this year, and I'm just going to move these very carefully and see if I can see any spider activity. Now, the funny thing is, this is also the zone where the false widow spiders get about. You should have gloves on doing this. Don't do it as I'm doing, boys and girls. And from what I can work out, false widows and um, redbacks don't get on at all. Because where you find false widows, you tend not to find redbacks. And I'm not really seeing any web here. Web, web back, web, web that is. So if you're not seeing the web, um, oh, there's an ant nest there, which is always nice to look at. And it just reminded me, uh, wherever there's ant nests, <laughs> There tends to be no spider as well. Hmm, ants are very, very effective at keeping spiders away. I'm hoping there's enough education in this video so I don't get in trouble. And what I learnt when I looked at the uh, Tonka toys in the backyard that were redback infested, uh, where the ants were set up, well, guess what? The redbacks never came back, hey? Hmm. Yes, uh, today's YouTube is uh, nothing like yesteryear's YouTube. That's uh, really all I can say. I should try and flush that redback out of there, but you'll say, ah, oh, but Leo, there was never a redback spider in there. Well, there is, and I actually feature it in a uh, another video where it's called like a body body bug. And it's a bit of a drain area. It's uh, one of these sort of pointless drains in a way because it just does nothing. Hmm. It's going to be a little bit tricky to flush this one out, I think. I better wash down the bricks or else Mummy's going to get annoyed. I'm trying to burn down the house again. Now, I'm looking for... <laughs> A black spider with a little bit of a red mark and it's going to be all twisted and burnt up. Okay, the only saving grace is they got a red mark and I believe that's a spider there. Okay, I'm coming in. Let me just readjust my phone. That is most certainly her. I notice she's not moving anymore. I wonder why. Yes, the only saving grace is they have that red mark on their back. Makes them a little bit easier to see and will give her a good night, sister. There. Double dusted. 
I better keep cleaning up here. The place I normally see in the Redbacks is that little hole under the step there. I'm just poking the water in there. I haven't noticed them up in this pipe area before. Hey, but I bet you I'll find them there again. They're like that, these spiders. They just keep coming back to the same spot. Well, it's now like the next day. A night's gone by after I did the manic spraying and I've come back to the car and I'm looking for those Redback spider webs. Down there, where the drop down lines were before, I can't see any, and most importantly, I'm hoping that I can't see any up in this area here because I removed the web, I sprayed like a maniac as well, and I'm hoping that I've nailed that spider. Um, I would have much preferred to see the spider body, but hey, we'll just take, take it for granted that that spider is dead. I'm not really that big a fan of chemical solutions, uh, mainly for the fact you never find the spider. And I do notice on the ground, and I do believe that this is another one, and it's the um, the effects of chemical, look at that there, it's another Chernobyl cockroach in its death throes. Yes, that's number two. Well, as boring and unspider eventful as that was, that's the normal person's way of dealing with redback spiders underneath your car.